Funky Essex Breakfast 103.7 Funky Essex Good. So that was uh, Zoby Doe. Before that, you had Conscience and Chris Brown. Bruck off your back. Bruck off your back. <laughs> That's a tune, actually. Yeah, I yeah, like it that. It's very good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, it's just kind of half past seven. Good morning, John Oaks. Good morning. How the devil are you? I'm very well, thanks, mate. How good. are you? Yeah, I'm very well, mate. I'm very well. Good. It's a good day. The sun is shining. The weather is sweet. Yeah. It is yeah, a bit Finley Quay lyric there for you. Well. <laughs> uh, right, yes, got lots to get through today on the show. We've got a special guest uh, in the studio. We'll be saying hello to him very soon, Jonah Ripley, who's got a film launching at the South End Film Festival tonight at the Odin. Uh, we're going to have a chat with him about the film and, uh, and and what he's been doing. That'll be good. Yeah, look forward to that. I've uh, got the rhyming celebrity name game. Of course, of course. get Jonah involved in as well, so let's see if he can clock up some points. Um, and uh, give you lot out there another chance to win yourselves a personalised video as well. Yep. How about them onions? I haven't looked at the uh, haven't looked at the news yet, so we'll have a little look at that and uh, find uh, find some funny. Do you want to look at the news and do some bongs? Yeah. Have you got some, or do you uh, uh, go, go and give me one? I, I, I will give you a bong. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Bong. World's most pampered bird filmed getting a massage from a plastic spoon. <laughs> um, like, like, as in with with feathers and wings, or yeah, no, she not, from not just Brentwood. a woman from Brentwood. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> bong. St- uh, big boned cat to be rehomed <laughs> after going on a diet. Bong. Uh, and no, can't do that one. <laughs> uh, Ah, look what happens. This is funny. Look what happens when you type Donald Trump office into Google. We're going to do that in a minute. I'm not going to tell you what it is. One more. Uh, yes. Bong. Seal caught face palming, th- palming thinking about politics in 2017. Not, not the, the singer. singer. <laughs> not the singer, no. An actual sea lion. Nice. So that's the kind of... Uh, Cutting edge headlines that you can expect to listen to throughout the show. Uh, we've got the news news from about eight o'clock. Uh, if you want to get in touch, any questions for Joan or a little bit later on, uh, you can do that. Oh seven four one two double o one o three seven. WhatsApp and text on that number at Funky SX on the Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat. Funky plays new music. Here comes another one right now. So we've got Lethal Bizzle on the way. Brand new from him. Lightech Tom Zanetti as well. Going to play that, and then we'll uh, then we'll meet our guest. This is Call Me Again by Fecky. It's Funky Essex Breakfast. Funky Essex. It is Funky Essex. It's just coming up to quarter to eight now. Tuesday the 16th of May. We've got a special guest in the studio, Jonah Ripley. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? How are you? I'm just going to move that closer to your face. Sorry, I should no have done No problem. Before. Yeah, sorry, I do apologise. Yeah, the most <laughs> professional thing in the studio at the moment is your hat, sir. I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is a very impressive yeah, hat. No, I am a fan of Peaky Blinders. So <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Uh, look, thanks for coming down, mate. Much appreciated. No problem. You are a filmmaker, cameraman extraordinaire. Yes, yes. I, I hope, hopefully, I th- um, I'm good enough for that title. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm so yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. No, no. I've been doing it for quite a while. I've, 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 I think it's purely just because it's more visual than anything. I absolutely love it. So yeah, yeah well, that's awesome. So uh, and you've got a film that you've been working on, and um, yes, and that's coming out t- t- tonight, isn't it? Uh, tonight, yes. Yeah, so it's the sixteenth um, of uh, Tuesday, um, which is at South End Odeon, uh, six pm till eight pm. Awesome. And uh, it's the opening gala for uh, the South End Film Festival before it actually starts. So there's okay. lots of other films tonight, not just mine. Sure. But, um, mine obviously was sort of picked up by the papers because uh, it was the only documentary, I suppose. Right. Okay. So, yeah. Excellent. And not only that, you're a local lad as well. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. That, that's got to be a big uh, sort of bucket list for you, then, surely. It have is. Have yeah, one of I your mean, films that you made on at the Odeon Cinema in South, and that's, that's got to be a big tick off the. Uh, off no, the... exactly. I mean, when I'm doing so, I, I'm definitely sure to mention South End. I like a lot of people talk bad about this place. Unfortunately, I, I, I don't know why. It. I love it. I think it's all right. Uh, yeah, yeah. I love it too. <laughs> Community. <laughs> yeah. No, that's, I do. Yes, yeah, we're people really do. lucky, especially this sort of weather as well. Sometimes yeah. when you get on the train and go through Lee, and you look out, and it's lovely. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I think like we obviously do comedy. I should imagine the camera work takes you all over the country oh, as well. Oh goodness, yeah. And uh, like you know, we, we, it's only going to these other places on a regular basis that yeah. you realise how lucky you are and what you're coming Absolutely, home to. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, let's just look, tell us a little bit about the film. What's it called? What, what's, what's it? Okay. What's it yeah. Sure. So it's called uh, Help. I'm Invisible. Dyslexia: The Hidden Disability. It's quite a mouthful. I've it's a wordy title for a, a <laughs> dyslexia <is>. film. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it, it was so hard to spell that as well. <laughs> <laughs> so um, uh, I wanted it quite a serious tone, even though I'm quite joking at the moment about it. But obviously, I live with it for the rest of my life. People sort of think 
um, I've, you wouldn't believe this. People think, oh, uh, people have asked me before, can you take a pill or anything to sort of get rid of it? Yeah. Things like that, or they think you can just overcome it. No, you just live with it. Yeah. I mean, you sort of learn to sort of use it, but you will never get rid of it. But yeah, so the film, I uh, sort of take an insight on what the stigma is attached to dyslexia. It's not so much about sort of the uh, uh, your brain and the neuro side of it, because we'd be there all day. It's quite a huge thing. Uh, dyslexia is personal to each person as sure. well, which a lot of teachers don't sort of take into consideration, unfortunately, when I was at school. And I couldn't put it better myself. My mum said, um, because she works in a care home, she said it's like dementia. It's personal to each person. It's obviously nowhere near like dementia, but it's just personal to each person. So everybody's different that has it. You've got this um, sort of slope of how it can uh, happen. You can have it sort of very mildly to very strong. Uh, People just think it's linear. It's like as if um, everybody's got it the same, which is wrong. Sure, I think that's uh, that's the key thing there, actually. Because I think like when you... Give, like when you give something a title and call it dyslexia on ADHD, we were talking about yeah. that off air a little while ago. It's sure. sort of you run the risk of uh, you know just blanket that that's what everyone is, yeah. but you forget to take everyone on that on their individual circumstances. I think you see, I think it's really good that you're you're doing something like this and bringing it bringing it to the the, the what's the word I'm looking for the front <laughs> yeah the front. I, I, I bring it to the front of people's minds yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah that that's what it was. I mean, growing up at school as well, I I I mean. It's it's just something that's always played on my mind since I've done TV work and all that. I've always wanted to do a film about this. I've I've had it on my mind for about seven years, and I've I've always wanted to um, show everybody what what it entails really, and uh, uh, open my open my world up to some people, I suppose, because. It's just one of those things that it's uh, a lot of people know about it, but they, they, I mean, if you tell them about it, they're either scared of it or they're, yeah. they're, um, or they'll, they'll, they'll overcompensate. It sounds really bad. This does, but I've had people treat me like. Uh, I've had Down syndrome. I mean, I, that, I, that's really horrible to say, but they put me in a separate room um, uh, in, a, in another room and all that. And they've talked to me. They've sort of done almost like Makaton as well, where they're talking to me and go, do I understand? I say, yes, I do. Yeah. And that has genuinely yeah. shocked me. And I said, I don't think you know what it is. So Yeah, that's that's the thing, though, because yeah. I think like, that the word um, it, it sounds probably a lot more severe than it is. is that, would you say I, I suppose it is. It does take over your life, but... Yeah, it, it does sound quite severe. I mean, I couldn't put it better uh, myself. Uh, the guy who's in my film, uh, he's the UK top dyslexia expert. Um, he's called Alex Tate. He works at Oxford University. He said um, it's another one of our dis words. You've got disability, dyslexia. Yeah, yeah. It, it sounds quite negative. It's got negative dis. connotations, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, of course. So it, it's, it's not a nice word, I suppose. But obviously, we're not going to change it and sort of be like, oh, yeah, rights for the word. It, it's, yeah, yeah. It, I mean, we've got it. So yeah, of that, course. That's, that's it. I think, like, uh, it's, it's another reason why it's good. Uh, I mean, obviously, now dyslexia is commonly known. People know what yeah. it is. I might not necessarily know about it, but that they're aware of yeah. what it is. Um, but, you know, people like, it, when, when, when like, our dads are in school, for example, dyslexia wasn't a thing. My dad didn't even go to school, I don't think. No, <laughs> <laughs> no I know what you mean, though. But yeah, it's... You know, you, you, if, you, if, you couldn't, if you couldn't spell or read or write as well as others then, you, you were just a, a Cause, dozy kid. Because everyone's, you know I mean? everyone's measured in the same way. Yeah, if you can't read, write, and do maths, then you fall into this category of of, of whatever. In yeah. actual fact, it's uh, yeah. If, you know, if you've got something, f- you know, blocking you from from performing at the same level as everybody else, that doesn't mean that you're you know thick or can't do it. No, exactly. It just means that you know you need di- a different sort of a different kind of help. A different sort of help. That, yeah. that is exactly right. I mean, my mum was put into. Uh, she had to go see a psychiatrist when she was at the age of four. They thought she was crazy at school. Uh, again because they didn't know what it was. Right, yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, it's terrible, it is. I found a really funny clip from Grange Hill, uh, how they describe dyslexia. It's actually in my film, and it's really appalling how they describe it. And I thought, if that's how they thought it was, obviously, in the 70s, I mean, obviously, what what is it now? Obviously, we've advanced hugely, but there's still huge bits missing. I mean, mm. we're nowhere near at that level anymore, but it's, I mean, do people still think that way, actually? Yeah. That's the thing, yeah, those people, you yeah. know, from the 70s are still here, do you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm, 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 I'm going. <laughs> I, I worked with a guy during the day, 75 years old, and yeah. he is definitely dyslexic, but yeah. uh, he, he won't have none of it. Yeah. Doesn't understand what it is. You, you try to explain to him, like, you, you know, but it's it, all the signs are there. I work with uh, children with behavioural and emotional difficulties, yeah. work with dyslexic kids, totally understand how it works. And you can see the warning signs straight away. It's mm. not just spelling the odd word incorrectly. It's getting words mixed around. He does it with numbers as well sometimes. But because of his age and the, and the generation he's from, he, he, he's not being labelled as, as dyslexic. He doesn't understand what that is. And, and, and as you say, it has certain connotations. But yeah, yeah. Look, I think that's really good. We're going to move on to a couple of tracks now. Absolutely. Whatever, We'll chat a little bit more detail later. You're with us for the duration as well. 
aren't you? Yep, sure. Um, so, yeah, we'll play this rhyming celebrity name game with you later as well. So Excellent. Yeah, There's no writing involved. <laughs> It'll be a, 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 a purely verbal uh, game. It's one. funky. So, uh, if you've got any questions for Jonah, I'm sure he'd love to answer them. You can get in touch via the uh, the text or the WhatsApp 07412. 001037 at Funky SX on the Twitter. This is Pondy Floor, the Noise Frenzy remix. Major Lazer got Ben Shopman on the way too, and then the news. We'll have another chat after that. Let's hold me down and Maori on Funky SX Breakfast on a 3.7 FM online on your mobile as well. It's five past eight now, Tuesday the 16th of May. Yeah, the news, news before that. We've got a special guest on the show. If you have just joined us, Jonah Ripley. He's got a film launching at the South End Film Festival tonight. Funky. Oh, one, one. So uh, yes, we've been. Uh, we've got a special. I'll tell you what I've got to say. Jonah Ripley is that is is a, is a brilliant name for doing what you're doing. I mean, you don't sound like you're not working in the film industry. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> no, no. Thank you very much. Yeah, I've, I've, again, I've had a lot of stigma with that at school, but whatever. I've I've learned to live with that, and I thought, yeah, I mean. It's certainly a name to remember. Whoever, uh, I don't know anyone else who's got that name. No, I mean, they might have it separately, name. but never together. Never. I think it's a great <laughs> name. I think, like, you know, if, if you see that on a poster, you think, yeah, that guy knows what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Ross McGrain is like the worst name for doing anything in the public. Uh. I do stand up comedy. I'm like, yeah, follow me on Twitter. It's Ross McGrain. That's M for Mike, C for Charlie. <laughs> 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 Romeo Alpha November Echo. That's very policey, that, yeah. <laughs> <Hanging out 63. laughs> um, right, we're going to uh, we'll have another little chat about what you're doing again uh, a little bit late for loads sure. of it, but uh, we're going to be playing um, in, in about three songs' time. We're going to play the uh, Kanye West is in a vest game. Uh, I'm going to explain to you how that works. So, uh, we're going to give you a clue. Uh, that clue involves a celebrity and something that celebrity might be doing. Uh, the answer has got to rhyme. So, of course, if we said uh, Kim Kardashian's husband is wearing a shirt with no sleeves, the answer would be Kanye West is in a vest. Yep, right. I'm going to give you an example. Are you ready for an example question? I'm ready for an example question, yep. Okay, this is going out to both of you. Yep. Uh, Director of Snatch has been bitten by mosquitoes. Oh, uh, okay, I know it, I know it, I think. You got it, yeah? I know it, I think it would be... So the first thing... Hold on, hold on, hold on, 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 give it a chance, give it a chance. (laughs) Give it a chance, give it a chance. Break it down, so the first part, the director of Snatch, who directed Snatch... And lock, stock, and two smoking barrels. Oh God, I, I genuinely can't remember that. No, I, I've, I've, I've seen them. Honestly, I know you think oh <laughs> films and that. I've it's seen them. Under, I can't remember. Under pressure, it is. Right, tough so as yeah, well. we'll give you. A, so it's Guy Ritchie, right? So okay. Guy Ritchie has been bitten by mosquitoes. What do you think that would have? Uh, Guy Ritchie's got a rhyme. I ain't got a clue. I'm so <laughs> sorry. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Right. So it's Guy Ritchie. Go on, John. It's Guy Ritchie is itchy, right? He's itchy, yeah. Oh, Guy Ritchie. Say, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, it's a lot yeah. easier than you think. Yeah. Your brain's going for the most yeah. complicated thing, but really, it's right in front of you. You've got an example one over there? Uh, yeah, I've got a good one for you. All right. Um, uh, Gladiator is observing his seeds turning into flowers. <laughs> Gladiator <laughs> is observing his seeds turning into flowers. So the actor that played Gladiator, the actor that played Gladiator, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know who that is 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 observing oh, his God. seeds turning into flowers. I can't remember who played it again. I have seen this. Yeah, Russell Crowe. Right. Okay. He's is watching seeds turn into flowers. It's something to do with obviously a crow eating them or something. Or it's, no, it's, 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 it's getting too complicated. Or something, yeah? too complicated. It's way more simple. It's, than way, more simple, it's yeah. way more simple. How do people play this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is quite early. Uh, so, do you know it? Russell Crowe yeah. is watching plants grow. Correct. Oh, there you go. <laughs> This is going to be interesting. It is, yeah. <laughs> Not going to be very good, but I'll give it a go. Yeah. Um, no, but uh, yeah. I'll say, what, 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 what were the others we done yesterday? What, what was the one that we did yesterday? We had some good ones yesterday. Uh, can't remember. Can't remember. Can't remember. Now putting ourselves on the spot. Okay, so uh, we'll, we'll be doing it. We'll, we'll have another little play of that at about twenty past, and then we'll, uh, we'll announce our actual competition. Where it- <laughs> they lose it. Here comes another one right now. Yeah, we'll have another competition uh, where we give. The, we basically we give the listeners a chance to win a personalised video because you know budgets. <laughs> there isn't one. <laughs> um, yeah, we've done a couple of those. We've we've, uh, we've been quite we've been quite lucky really because like basically we let the listeners pick what we're going to say in the video. So we'll say mm. anything as long as it's clean and radio yeah. worthy. We'll say it. And I, I was honestly thinking we're going to get stitched up, but we've only been stitched up once, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. By well, Jordan. We had to sing "Fog on the Tyne." Oh, which yeah, was uh, got a Geordie listener, Ge- Gemma Gibson, and uh, she wanted to sing the Paul Gascoigne classic <laughs> "Fog on the Tyne," uh, which we did. Yep, uh, we've got another one to do though, which we still haven't done. We need to do that today. Uh, anyway, 
got uh, we, we need, uh, Jonah Ripley you, you've got Twitter and all stuff like that we want to yes give yeah, some, yeah the, I've the, got give, all that let's give them some information about how they can find out more about this film about you and what you're doing and follow what you're right, doing right so. okay yeah so I've, I've got Facebook I've got Twitter Instagram all of the main ones um, I am on YouTube um, that's that's quite easy to find. Just uh, put my name in, you'll find that. Uh, I'm also on. Uh, we've uh, me and my friend. We've got a camera hire company where we do freelance work, and that's called Panaphoria.com, and that will show the film on there and uh, any other films that we've done. Oh, super! Panaphoria.com and yes. Jonah Ripley on all the socials. Do yes. check that out. And if you are out and about in Southend today, are they able to still get tickets for the for the show? Um, not? Unfortunately, not. That's the problem. But th- there is there are ways to see it later on. So uh, again, we'll put this out on social media. Excellent, superb. So look, do keep an eye out. For uh, for Joan Oliver, and this is a, a chat we're going to be hearing a lot more from in the future. Funky Essex. So, uh, if you want to get in touch, if you've got any questions for Joan or any of us, if you want to, if, uh, and if you want to just save the number for the rhyming celebrity name game, you can do that. Oh seven four one two double oh one oh three seven. That's the number you need. What's up on that as well? We got Soul Divide on the way, and Sonnery James, brand new from them. This is Kent Jones though. Pitbull and Lil Wayne don't mind. Fetty Wap there and Like a Star featuring Nicki Minaj. Do you know what, Nicki Minaj, we've we've slated her a bit, right? I've I've been guilty of, of um, you know, digging her out a little bit, mm. you know, because, you know, Nicki Minaj. She's done some she's done something amazing on Twitter. I don't know if you've heard about this recently. Right. But Nicki Minaj uh, basically tweeted, send me a picture of your uh, of the, your straight A's and I'll pay for your college education. And people were sending it out, as long as they could, she could verify it. Mm. She's saying, look, if, if, if you've worked hard, I, I will pay I'll, I'll pay for you to go to college so you haven't got to worry about the money. Nice. And she's done it for loads of people. And like, other people were like messaging, saying, oh, I'm studying um, photography. I really need money to buy a camera. She's like, I've got you. How much is the camera? And just transferred the money there and then. No way. And just hooked up loads of people. And she said, like, I'll send all the money tomorrow and I'll do this again in a couple of months. But there was a good, like, 1,700 young people that she assisted financially. Mate, fair play. Wow. Fair play to That's Nicki amazing. Minaj. Mind you, if they didn't spend all their money on buying her album, <laughs> <so please. laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> joking. Fitz you up on the other hand. What's he done? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, 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 why, that's, that's why he's on the track. She's helping him out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh right, if you just joined us, we've got Jonah Ripley on the show, filmmaker extraordinaire. He's got a, a film launching at the South End Film Festival tonight at the Odeon in South End. Thanks for coming down, mate. It's no been, problem. Uh, Thanks for having me. Highly enjoyable. We've, uh, we g- gave him a... Uh, Entry level into the celebrity rhyming name game <laughs> didn't go well, mate. Did it? No, it didn't, <laughs> didn't not go at all. very well. I must admit, yeah. Um, we've got a couple more to do. Um, I've, got, I've, I've had a little spate during the last couple of songs. God for I've that, got one, I'm really two, struggling three, today. four, five. I've got six, mate. Right, I've got go. them positively coming at me ears. I'll, I'll start because I haven't got many. All, all right. right. So uh, the president of America is in a bit of a mood. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm so I'm so slow. I know. Obviously, hang on, wait. He's in a bit of a mode. You know it is, obviously. Yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah. So Donald Trump... Yeah, yeah. ...is in a bit of a mode. What's he got? He's got the um. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> <laughs> like, he got it. Oh, my God. Donald Trump yeah. has got the um. Right. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> 8.5 points 8. for you. 8.5 points. Don't ask. John's scoring system. <laughs> my God. Good. Right. This one's, this one's quite a good one. This one's quite a good one. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you know Game of Thrones? No, I don't. I'm Never afraid. mind. No. We'll, we'll, you, you, uh, yeah, um, okay. Uh, so let's right. go with... Uh, uh, what else has he been in? Um, uh, wow. Um, okay. Do you know? Do you know? Uh, Lord of the Rings. Yes. Okay. Yep. Um, uh, who did he play? Boromir. Right. Has got himself invisible. Boromir oh, has turned himself invisible. Who's the actor? Who played Boromir? I haven't got a clue what the actor. I've, I've got him in uh, my head. His face, but yeah. Uh, uh, you and me both. Uh, what else has he done? Uh, Eddard Stark. He is. He is at the moment. Who? Eddard Stark from Game of Thrones. Oh, mate, come on, hold on. <laughs> Let me find out who else he's been in. <laughs> okay, I've got one for you while you're doing that. Go on. Uh, Will Turner from Pirates of the Caribbean. Yes. Right. You know who that is. Yes. Uh, he's having a sweep up. Will Turner is having a sweep up. Orlando Bloom. Yeah. He's, he's having a sweet he's, he's got Come a broom. On. Yeah! That's it, yeah! yeah. <laughs> That's, oh my goodness. You've right. already yeah. beaten Jesse Cohen's score of 8.5. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> um, are, you, are you ready? I've got another one if not. Uh, go for it. Okay, Elizabeth Swan from Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> have you just, have you just looked, up, looked up everyone from yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean? Yeah, I just clicked on him and then I clicked <laughs> IMDB and now I just went through it. Elizabeth Swan from Pirates of the Caribbean is walking on thin ice. <laughs> I love this one. <laughs> Kieran Lightley's treading lightly. Yeah. Oh, no. 
<laughs> That's, That's really good. Right, you ready for some wow. of mine? Yeah, yeah. go on. Go uh, on. Okay. Uh, Borat, an Ali G star, has got himself lost. <laughs> Where's he going? Is, is, oh, it's not that oh, oh, close, close. 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 Where's he what's, going? What's, uh, Borat and Ali G star, what's his name? Sasha Barra Cohen, yeah. 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 yeah, he's got himself lost. You were right. Where are you going? It's not, or is it? Where's he going? Yeah, it's actually yeah. Aaron Cohen doesn't know where he's going. That's doesn't eight, know where he's oh, going. Oh, it doesn't go. All right, okay. okay. We'll give you eight points for that. Right. Though. Got eight it. points. Eight <laughs> points. Uh, what about this one? Ace Ventura is covered head to toe in fur. Jim Carrey's hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, right. Okay, you ready for another one? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, this one's quite difficult because there's quite a lot of them. But Batman works for a national train service. Batman. Oh, which Batman is it? That's though? the thing. Right. right. Okay. That's the thing. Throw Batman is working for a, a national Adam West. N- no. Oh, uh, I love Adam West. Um, which which Batman was he from? Hold on, let me have a look. God, you're so obscure, John. With, with your <laughs> you're so oh, obscure. No, just think if, it's not the um. Oh, what's his name? It's not the newer one, is it? Then. Uh, I don't think it's the newest one. Christian Bale Michael yeah. Keaton Oh it, it is, is Christian Bale It is Christian Bale, Bale. It right. is Christian Bale Okay uh, Rail Something's doing oh, a rail Oh yes <laughs> British Rail uh, Close <laughs> <laughs> Christian Bale works for Network Rail Alright <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, look We've got to do a couple more And then one for oh, this well. one Alright alright um, Okay we'll, we'll, save, we'll save this one We'll save this one for the for the listeners But okay. this, is, this is a difficult one This is a difficult one The others have been so easy I thought you deserved a difficult one Alright <clears throat> Tibetan Buddhist monk has got changed into his bedclothes. Dalai Lama's in his pyjamas. <laughs> <Yes>! <laughs> that is amazing. That is amazing. Oh, you get an air hole for that. <laughs> there you go. That was a bit easier, wasn't it? Oh, it was. <laughs> right, so have you got one for the, for the, for the, 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 the punters? Yes. Yeah, okay, go Are on. you ready? <clears throat> Ricky Gervais' character can't afford to pay his monthly flat bill. Ah, oh, that's good. Ricky Gervais's character can't afford to pay his monthly flat, flat bill. bill. The bill for his flat or his home. Mm-hmm. What could that be? 07412 Text and WhatsApp on that number at FunkySX on the Twitter as well. Funky plays new music. Here comes another one right now. Good. So, Ricky Gervais's character can't afford the monthly bill on his flat or home. What could it be? 07412 Win yourself a personalised video. How, how lucky are you to, to, to even be in the running or winning one of those? This is Urban Cone, old school, the Zach Samuel remix. We've got Scotty Boy up next. It's Funky Six Breakfast 103.7. Ross McGrain and John Oaks till 9 o'clock. Jonah Ripley on the show as well. And then from 9, you've got Storm as well. Keep it funky. Funky. We're moving into the last part of the show now, but don't fret. You've got Storm up from nine o'clock with uh, with more bangers. Just have a look at the playlist, actually. Got Marshmallow on the way, DJ Mustard as well, and Nicki Minaj. Because I like Nicki Minaj today, aren't I? Hey. Because she's done all those nice things. <laughs> um, right, uh, we've got a special guest on the show as well. Jonah Ripley is still here. Thanks for coming down, mate. Much no appreciated. problem. Thanks for having me. Um, it's got a film coming out tonight. What's the film called again? Uh, it's called Help, I'm Invisible, Dyslexia, The Hidden Disability. <laughs> There's definitely a colon in there yeah. somewhere, I yeah, imagine. There is, yeah. Or maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so that's uh, launching tonight at the uh, South End Film Festival. How long have you been filming it? Um, I've been filming it since um, March time, so not very long. Yeah. Uh, but it was purely just to get all my guests on the show when they were free. So the, the, the head of dyslexia, uh, 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 the top guy in the UK, he was extremely busy, but I was very grateful that he could do it. Yeah, I yeah. knew him from a previous program where I was on the intern on Channel 4 and he diagnosed me on television in 2013. I, I never had it done before. Oh, so. really? Yeah, so that, that was great that he could do that. Um, and yeah, my other guests, they work in TV and that was a problem getting them free as well. And yeah, this is why it, it was all sort of like a uh, quick fit them in and just to get them in there because they're all over the country yeah, that's the yeah. problem so, so um, what, what, what's, what happens after tonight then so the films uh, so um, after tonight I've had a company contact me talking about that they want to buy it actually which is quite interesting oh, they sell software to dyslexics and um, they were wondering uh, um, how they could d- distribute it so we're still talking about it at the moment nothing's really been finalised but they said um, that they're like they're, they're definitely interested in it and I've had someone um, up north contact me saying that will it be released worldwide because they would like um, version 
versions where it's got subtitles and things like that. Which oh, excellent! I, yeah. could, I could do. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. not a problem. Yeah. So, is there is there a way for anyone to sort of see it other than? Yes. Um, so, what I'll be doing is I'll be putting it out online afterwards, uh, uh, whether it's somewhere like YouTube or Vimeo. But I will wait. I, I'll probably have to wait a couple of days uh, to see what these guys are thinking yeah, first sure, about yeah, yeah. Um, if they want to buy the rights to. It. I mean, they're probably not going to sell it. They just want to show people and have the rights yeah, to. Yeah, of course. It. So that's yeah, the thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all day uh, yesterday I've had uh, Lloyd Warby from Art Attack um, uh, messaging amazing. me, which is amazing. brilliant. Yeah, uh, I mean, not Neil Buchanan, but still, this guy is amazing. Yeah, I mean, he's on mate, look, Disney he's on Art, Art Attack. Attack. That's yeah. enough for me. Yeah, yeah, I, it's it, great. He knows the head. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's he's been having a chat with me, he, a fellow dyslexic himself, which is really nice to hear and reassuring. I mean, I'm so overwhelmed by that. I've had quite a few celebrities contact me. Uh, the guy out of uh, Game of Thrones, who's also in um, Misfits, I can't remember his name. To, to, uh, unfortunately um, and I've also had um, uh, the lovely um, uh, Hilary DeVay uh, I've known her from the intern she was my mentor she's not dyslexic but she's keen to help and yeah. then I had Theo Pathetis pick it up from uh, yeah. the Dragon's Den oh, again he's fantastic. dyslexic so, oh yeah. is he I yeah, know yeah it's great yeah, it's and nice to know he a stationary company look at that uh, yeah that's exactly that's what I'm saying. Everything, do, educational yeah right, that's brilliant I love that <laughs> well look um, really appreciate you coming down mate and, not a uh, problem best of luck with it I genuinely, believe, I genuinely mean that and yeah. Um, yeah, anytime you want to come back on and, and promote what you're doing you're sure. more than welcome um, so uh, that, that's about all for us. We've got to do the traffic, and we're going to wrap the weather. I say we. John <laughs> is going to wrap the weather. Um, yeah, this is. Uh, How you doing? You struggling over there with your with your traffic update? No, hold on. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. We should probably do the reveal as well for the uh, for the Roman celebrity. Oh, of course, Kim. of course. So go on. The question was: the question was Ricky Gervais' character can't afford to pay his monthly flat bill. What do you think that is? Do you know what it is? I'm thinking too much over this. I don't think I've got the hang of this. <laughs> okay, so the Ricky Gervais, the f- most famous character that Ricky Gervais ever yeah, had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. David Brent. <sighs> Can't pay his monthly flat bill. Can't pay his uh, monthly... Oh, something to do with rent. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't yeah, pay yeah. his rent. Oh, right, well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, you're overthinking it. You're yeah, overthinking that's the t- trouble with this. Oh. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, we've got... Uh, who, who, who's winning? Uh, we should write it down on a piece of paper and reveal it. That way, it's legally binding. Okay, <laughs> let's do that then. Yeah. Okay. Would you want to do the? Uh, do you want to do it and reveal in the morning? How, no. How many names have you got there? Loads. Loads. All right. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you what. Yeah, we'll do the reveal tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, no, we'll do it on Facebook after the show. All right. Facebook.com forward slash Ross and John. As you can see, we do a lot. Of, we put a lot of effort into the prep and organisation <laughs> yeah. of the show. Uh, yeah. So uh, check our Facebook page and like it, uh, and, and then you'll you'll find out if you won on there simple as that right traffic 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 where's the traffic it's not working mate it's just not working <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh god yeah. right out on the roads yeah. it's uh, it's nice and clear today actually you'd think it was a Friday A127's looking pretty uh, pretty empty a little bit of slow moving traffic towards the high street from Victoria Circus but nothing more than you'd expect at this time of the morning A13 looking pretty clear as well There, if you're going as far as Gallows Corner there's going to be some road works there that are going to slow you down uh, that's that Contrafo Bridge maintenance work that's been going on for a while. Uh, the Ra- the Rayleigh Weir's got delays of around two minutes. That's uh, on the Arterial Road westbound in Thundersley. Um, other than that, not looking too bad. Good nice. luck out there on the streets. Right. Time for the weather app. Yes. We're going to find you an instrumental. Prepped so. and ready. Uh, prepped and that's the only thing that's prepped and ready. <laughs> and he did it ten minutes ago. It's a bit of a, a bit of an old school beat for you. Oh, no, 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 we no, can't no, have no, that no, one. No, no, we no, don't no, like that no, one no, at all. No. That one's a horrendous one. <laughs> yeah, ten to nine. <laughs> Apologies uh, if any of you heard uh, what was just said there and was offended by it. Uh, right, let's try another one. <laughs> just take it off. <laughs> just take it off. <laughs> <laughs> right, instrumental next to it. Right. Uh, no, not that one either. Okay, uh, this one. The irony that this next one is called Royal Mess. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is filth. Yeah. Funky Essex. 849. Love a bit more volume, fam. Nice. <laughs> yeah. 16 for the fifth. Weather rap for the day. Yeah. Finally, the summer is back today. Hopefully, it is gonna be here to stay. Highs today are gonna hit. 
21 So if you're off work, get outside and have some fun Yo, most places enjoying sunshine And brightly, looking like the wind is only gonna be hitting lightly <laughs> Chances of light showers hitting later on But they won't stick around for too long Yo, that's all from us and thanks to Jonah Ripley Hopefully <laughs> if you're at work today it goes quickly Humid and mild overnight with light rain. That's all from John Oates and Ross McGray. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that is it. You're not getting that anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> that is all from us, John Oates. Thanks again, mate. Much Thanks, appreciated. Guys, yeah, really Absolute appreciate pleasure. Anytime. And uh, good luck tonight. Hope it goes well. Yeah, thank you. Uh, check out Jonah Ripley. Hit him on Twitter, uh, Facebook, all the social platforms. Jonah Ripley. Remember the name. And check out that dyslexia film as, as soon as it goes live. It's 10 to 9 now. Have a lovely Tuesday. We'll be back tomorrow. Ta-da. Ta-da.